Gaming and Leisure Properties has finally struck a deal to buy the real estate assets from Pinnacle Entertainment, but only after the casino operator faced months of activist pressure. The roughly $4.75 billion deal is much more the than the casino REIT's initial hostile bid. Gaming and Leisure unveiled a $4.1 billion bid in March, but earlier this month hiked that bid to about $5 billion. After facing activist pressure from Orange Capital's Daniel Lewis, Pinnacle said in November it would separate its real estate assets from its operating business. The tax-free spin-off was expected to be completed next year. Instead, Tuesday's deal will supposedly create the third largest publicly traded REIT in the U.S. Gaming and Leisure will gain 14 properties in seven states from Pinnacle, putting it in an even greater position to pursue even more properties. In New York, I'm Sarah Pringle, and that's The Deal Report.